Welcome to my second tutorial about the Blade Framework. Um, the last time we talked about um, how to install the Blade Framework. This time we will talk about um, the install and use of MySQL connections. Um, of course, the first thing you have to do to get your application running, um, you better go into the console and type in command. And we go into our workspace. And the last time we generated an application named lesson install. So we go into that again and type in play. So you can actually see what's going to happen here. Um, the next step we have to do is, of course, of course, you have to install like a MySQL first, so you can use it. I think that's like the other tutorials will cover that. Um, the next th thing we have to do is go into our um, project we had before, and there is a build Scala inside there, and all you have to do is actually add your appropriate driver here. I prepared this a little bit, um, so I can just fill this in here. So this is the MySQL connector for Java. It's the version 5.1.18. Um, I didn't test it out with other um, versions, but mm, I think it will work also too. And what is going to happen? The other thing, SPT will automatically um, download the appropriate driver for you if you don't have it. Um, so all you have to do is to fill in this line and everything works like super magic. And the other thing you have to do is, of course, if you want to use this MySQL connection, you go into your application conf directory and add the appropriate driver. Um, I will also prepare this because I'm too lazy to type everything in. So if this is we don't call it guestbook, we call it um, for some lesson install underscore install. So it does not have to be the same name, but otherwise I would use, I would like lose a little bit where which database uses which application. So I'll do this like this. And also you have to type in the driver. Um, of course, um, localhost, you would also have it on install localhost and also like the database name, schema name, your user and your password. That was pretty simple here. Um, also, if you want to use eBeans um, for Java, you should add this line, or um, maybe you can just uncomment it here. So everything is prepared to use MySQL. The next thing you have to do is actually generate a database. So we we are deleting the old gas book. Um, and generate a new schema, and I called it um, lesson underscore install. Install. Okay, so now we have an empty database here. You can see it. No table is in there. there. Um, yeah, and usually if you want to use a database, you also define your model. So you're doing this by, um, you generate a new folder. We will call it models. And here we put our models in. For example, um, we will call an, our new model, let's call it entry. We generate a new 
entry model. And this entry model, I also prepared some stuff for that. Um, <clears throat> you just, we go over these lines a little bit. Um, first, you have to say um, that's an entity. Of course, you have. Otherwise, it's got, it doesn't get managed. You have to have your ID. This constraint is not really useful at that point. It's just um, for like validation. Um, and every entry has like a name. And this is like the standard finder for um, for events. Um, so what you have to do next is actually run your application. And by doing that, you go into your browser. I already have it in here and refresh it. Oh, we need to run the application. <clears throat> So, refresh it, so you can see, Hmm, you have to restart the play application. I didn't do that before. So now everything should run smoothly. Yeah, you can see it's checking for the appropriate drive and everything. And now we can see So, yeah, but this exception is kind of useful. Um, it will tell you that this script here should be applied to your application. And we are doing that. And you can just click on the button up here. And that's pretty much it. And the database is generated in the background. I will show you. Um, opening this one. Here we can check out our entry, and that's it. Your ID field is generated, and also the name field. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.